So this week I'm going to do something a little bit different. You remember these uh, super cheap but oh so colorful guitar strings that I got in the mailbag on Monday? Let's put them on my super cheap guitar. Uh, that's not going to work out. Okay, let me go find a better place to do this. Um, no, that's not going to work out. I know, how about this conveniently cleared and well lit area on my pool table? That'll do nicely. Okay, here we go. So first, this is the strings that are on the guitar right now. They've been on there for way longer than any guitar strings should be on a guitar. Um, they are uh, an 11 to 52 thou size. So the millimeter size, not sure whether you can see that or not, is fairly close. The low E string is 1.32 millimeters. In my cheap set is 1.29. The high string, high E, is 0.28 millimeters, which is the same. So that's close enough. The first thing, that obviously, you have to do when you're changing the strings on a guitar is to take the old ones off. Now I should have prepared and found a little cranky tool, but whatever. This is quick enough. Let's spin them off. Now this guitar is, I know I called it a cheap guitar, but it really is. It needed a little bit of work. I had to replace the tuning machines. Um, the, while I was working on it, the bridge actually fell off. You can sort of see a ghost of where the old bridge was. So I went and bought a cheap replacement bridge and a cheap source of guitar parts that no longer exists in my city. Um, Peeled the other one off and glued that on. Uh, what else was wrong with this thing? Oh, there was a crack in the neck right there that I glued up. And other than that, it was just disgustingly disgusting. I needed a lot of cleaning. Oh, yeah, and I put strap uh, strap button on the heel there, too. Um, originally, you would have wanted to use the string around the peg here, dude. I don't like that. Looks too chippy. Not my style. Okay, so that's the screen's off that end. Uh, now it's just a matter of pulling the bridge pins out. And there we go. Repeat that six times, five times. I'm pleased these bridge pins come out so easily. The, the, the bridge that was original on it was kind of looked like a nylon string guitar's tie block bridge but this was always designed as a steel string guitar hey okay, so there's the old ones those will go into my supplies uh, bin in case i need some, some nice stiff pokey wire or something to model with yes general purpose cheap skating and then all you got to do is reverse the process. You know, it doesn't matter really which side you start at. I'm going to start at the heaviest and work my way back. Um, so I'm just poke it down in there. Now these bridge pins, I'm not sure whether you can see there's a slot down one side of them. So the string basically lies in that slot and holds up against the bottom of the wood underneath the underneath the bridge block inside the guitar so that's all you got to do is stick it down in there chase it down with the, with the pin if it's pulling the pin up that means it's kind of catching on the bottom of the pins so and give it a little bit of a bend out of the way it's not pulling the pin up anymore and then through the hole Slot in the nut, and typically you don't want it right tight there. You want a couple of wraps around it, so I'll spin that backwards. I'll just spin this guy up, give that a little bit of a kink so that it holds. Now there's all manner of discussion about how this should be done. I like to have 
the first wrap go underneath the tail like that and then any subsequent wraps go over but I don't think I put enough on there well, that's reasonable so I got a full turn around there these strings are a little bit short I hope I'm gonna be okay here uh, what's the next heaviest one Actually play the guitar and actually know how to do this I'm sure you're going to be finding fault with my technique um, I'm sure if you're regular viewers you also know that I'm willing to accept constructive criticism down in the comments but I'm probably not going to change all my ways now then Strings are on there next to tune. Could use one of the cute little guitar tuners if you have one, or you could use an app. Now, I'm not sure how well this one's going to work. We'll see. That's a little sharp, but that's okay. This should be the A string. Fresh strings on, you're gonna to have to retune multiple times. Uh, 
uh, that's flattened out as the whole geometry of the guitar has changed with the tension. Well, it hasn't flattened that far. Always tune up into a note. tensions and the slop of the mechanism and stuff. Okay, that's close enough. It's going to flatten out as I play it, as I stretch the strings. You can actually give the strings a bit of a, a bit of a wailing on and you notice that they flatten out again. As they settle in. somebody out, as I out, and so you don't look like a complete amateur. Um, for that, just any pair of reasonable wire cutters that you don't care about damaging. Because these are steel strings and these things are designed for cutting copper, not steel. So you don't use your high-end pair of zero ones or nitpicks or whatever. There we go. Um, see how she sounds. I ran this because it's not staying in tune. Okay, I'm going to uh, spend some more time tuning it and letting it settle, and then we'll listen to it. Okay, I've been messing around with this thing for a little while now. It seems to be holding its tune pretty well. It's not bad. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, repeat a hundred times. But you know what? This, as fun as this is, um, I don't know, should I get a stunt guitarist in here? Nah, this isn't about playing. This is about the strings. And they feel fairly soft on the left hand here. They're like a coated string almost. And now that they're up to tune, They're going a little flat, that's a little flat. But they're mostly holding their tune. Yeah, they're pretty close. Um, so for cheap strings, I mean, they're not as bright as I would like them to be. Come on. I'd like them to sound a little bit brighter, but part of that is this guitar too. I mean, it's just made of plywood. It's literally a $12 pawn shop guitar. There's nothing magical about it. But for a campfire guitar, it'll do just nicely. And for what were these, less than two bucks for the set of strings? And they're ooh so colorful. I think it's a win. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate you taking your time to put up with me like this. Uh, anything you've got to say, as always, down in the comments. And I will talk to you later.